Hi everyone, my name is Jordan Ray and I'm going to demonstrate how to use the spreadsheet service in Google Apps Script uh, to kind of get uh, values from a cell and then open them in a new tab. Uh, this idea was posted, where was it posted? Google Plus, I think. Google Plus by a lady named Rachel Bath and I put her information up on the screen there. Um, and I guess she's using it for kind of a table of contents uh, however, I'm going to add, you know, just show how to do what she wants, but at the same time, how to kind of add uh, in s some other things like getting the selection, getting the value from the selection. Uh, as you can see, when you have a URL in a spreadsheet, you can open that in a new tab very easily. But that's not the point of this video. Uh, the point of the video is to show how to use a drawing like this to assign a script. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do, we're going to jump right into the script editor. And we need to declare our function. I'm just going to call it open tab. Now, uh, the first thing we want to do is get the selection. What, what URL do we have highlighted here? Um, and we need the, not document app, we need the spreadsheet app. Dot get active sheet. Get active cell and get value. And we can take a look at what that is uh, just by logging it to logger.log. Um, so we have our open tab function. Let's go ahead and assign that script right in here, open tab. And when we click on this, it's going to run the script. We have to actually look at, um, let me dismiss that. I actually didn't have a cell highlighted. Let me go ahead and run. And now when I, I see that URL right here. Well, how can we force a new tab to open? Uh, well, we actually need to kind of, there's a little bit of a workaround because it's not actually, uh, there isn't actually a thing built in to the spreadsheet app. So we kind of have to uh, modify a little bit. We're going to have to push a little bit of HTML uh, right into our spreadsheet. So I'm actually going to use double quotes because I actually need some single quotes inside. Uh, so, anyways, we're going to call, we're going to declare this HTML string, and we're in there going to put a script tag, and then, oops lost my place. And then inside of that, I'm going to call window.open. Inside of a script tag, you can really just, um, uh, you can put JavaScript right inside there. So inside of here, I'm going to then, uh, I need to, what do I need to do? Close those strings. And inside here, I'm going to put selection. So that's selection URL is going to go right inside this window.open selection. And we need to actually send that into the window. So I'm going to define a variable called user interface. And we need to call the HTML service. And we're going to create HTML output from a string. Uh, so create HTML output from a string of HTML. And there we've got our HTML variable pushed inside there. And we need to do one last thing, spreadsheet app get UI. And then we are going to show a modal dialog. This user interface variable that we've declared and a title. And I'll just call it open tab. Um, and this right here is going to force a new tab to open depending on what we have uh, highlighted. So when I click on this open in a new tab, we see that modal window open here, but it should push a new, um, new window to open, but it didn't. What is wrong? I think I forgot something. Window open. Ah, so inside here, we're actually telling this, we're forcing this into a string, but we need to actually have these single 
uh, quotes in there. Sorry about that. So now it's going to push that window. It's going to run that window open. And I just have a couple of uh, spreadsheets linked from my uh, Google Innovator Cohorts group team, uh, whatever you call it. Um, and that's perfect. However, when I go back to the spreadsheet, you'll see I still have this modal window open. So I'm going to add one more thing to get rid of that. And I'll just do that right inside of the script tags. Um, Google.script.host.close. And one more line of JavaScript should kill that modal window for us. Open in a new tab. And that's perfect. Okay, and now um, when I go back in here, closed, that modal window closed on its own. Perfect. Now this can be used in a number of different ways. You don't actually have to get that URL from a selection. You could just define that URL here um, and you know, send, it, uh, send it whatever you want. Send it uh, some predefined thing. And now when I click Sorry, then I have to, so I have this URL defined, and then if I put that right in here, uh, click on this, it should open up Google, uh, because that's such a hard, difficult website to get to. Uh, not many people have heard of it yet. Um, it's Google, it's Google stuff. I think it'll take off though. Uh, and so there you have it. You're opening up a, uh, you're kind of using that modal interface to you know, force open another web page. Um, and you could link to any number of things. Uh, hopefully that's helpful. Um, Rachel, I hope that helps, uh, helps you to solve your problem. Uh, if you like this video, uh, share it with some other teachers, comment, uh, subscribe. Um, I'm gonna try to, as my school year finishes, I'm gonna try to do uh, one of these little uh, Google Apps scripting projects every single day um, and push them to my channel. So let me know uh, what you want to see. Uh, have a great afternoon.